can't hear you very well, but I suppose you're asking me about us coming to Gaza as the boats uh, try to leave Gaza to break the blockade from within. We've been planning our mission for some time now, and we will continue to do so as long as the blockade is in place, because we believe we need to put pressure on the international community to stop its complicity with Israel's uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity. We do this uh, to protect human rights and to bring a message of solidarity and hope to the people living in Gaza. Uh, Zahar, I want to ask if you could hear me. The EU, even today, the European Union has condemned the mortar fire coming from Gaza. Dozens of mortars fired at Israeli homes and schools. The IDF is trying to defend itself against that threat from Gaza. Is it inappropriate to continue this at this moment, at this time, when the IDF is actively engaged in this campaign? Well, I, we think if you look at the context, the nonviolent protests in Gaza that have started with the uh, Great March of Return in March uh, have actually stopped the rocket fire from Gaza. And it was Israel reaction with snipers shooting at unarmed people that was the violent reaction. The international community did condemn that, but when they uh, requested Israel to uh, allow an investigation into that shooting, Israel uh, refused. Again, without going into too much details, the blockade is illegal, it's inhuman, and it should be lifted. So our actions are appropriate. We don't do this against the Israeli population. We do this uh, <clears throat> with the interest, the best interest of all those who live in the region in mind. We believe that Gaza, when it's free, will not be a threat to Israel. Gaza uh, under siege could be a threat. Zahar, this, is, Zahar, this is what we're aiming. Zahar, when do you expect to reach the Gaza area? When specifically? And what will you do if you are blocked? We expect to reach Gaza at the end of July. We go on a non-violent direct action mission sailing uh, right now in uh, German waters, but we will go out to international waters. We will stop in many ports. We uh, expect, as I said, to go to Gaza. If we're intercepted by uh, the occupation forces, we will resist non-violently. We will never attack. We will never do anything to harm anybody, but we will do our best to complete our mission. All right, so any violence comes, it will not come from our part.